everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing the first Christmas review for the season, and this one is on, on the 1982 film The Snowman. Now, as you know, The Snowman is a 1982 animated television film that was meant to be based on Raymond Briggs' 1978 picture book, The Snowman, which was first published back in... 1978 and what's actually interesting is that this aired during December the 26th 1982 and what's actually interesting is that there were other openings one of which had Raymond Briggs himself walking in the field being based on 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 the main char character the boy there was another one that actually had David Bowie as the as the guy telling the story at the start. The other one you had was Father Christmas, voiced by his original actor, telling how he how he played the role in giving James the scarf. And pretty much the film, I would say, is simply straightforward. It's meant to focus on a young boy known as James, who wakes up one morning to find that snow is near his house in a sort of large country field. We see how he slowly builds the snowman and as soon as he wakes up he ends up befriending the snowman and together him and the snowman do all sorts of things around the house. Like kind of watching TV, basically dancing around and so on. And I think what makes the film work and this is my opinion is that it doesn't need voice actors. It doesn't really need any iconic stars playing the kind of roles. And I think it's just a simple kind of film. And I think for the most part, the music really captures the feeling. Like, when you kind of got the snowman kind of, like, sort of, sort of using the freezer, it's kind of got that sort of relaxing kind of holiday beach feel to it and I think as well when you got the snowman riding the motorcycle the song changes to kind of give this more more edge on the wild side story <clears throat> and I think as well is that when you kind of got the snowman and the boy James getting ready to take off during the during during the, the whole walk in the air scene it kind of gives this kind of starting the kind of running countdown feel and I think for the most part that does work and I think for the most part I would say yeah they do kind of change Santa and Father Christmas I think what's interesting is that in the kind of original like the snowman he's meant to be all joyful bumbly and kind of warm-hearted I think what made Father Christmas work in his own film he was kind of a Grouch, but he was a grouch who kind of felt relatable, like you can kind of understand why he was the way he was. And you do kind of see James as well as the snowman at the kind of party and the, and also the snow and also having Father Christmas talk a bit. I think to me I would say my personal favourite opening would have to be the David Bowie one. And I think the reason that I like the David Bowie opening, it's just him as the as the boy James, older, and just kind of knowing that he was going to tell the story. He knows what what the kind of life he had, and it's just him telling a simple and kind of comedic story. I think the problem with the Raymond Briggs one walking through a field, it just it sounds like a guy who's basically miserable. Which doesn't really feel interesting. I think the David Bowie one works because it's just kind of the boy being a kind of like telling about his experience, how he came to be, how his kind of adventure of the snowman happens. And I think for the most part, I would say the snowman is definitely an enjoyable film. If you're a fan of Raymond Briggs' work from When the Wind Blows, Fungus the Bogeyman, as well as Ernest and Ethel, 
this is definitely your, your film. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.